came from about 50 feet above the roof. Um, huge pillow of uh, black smoke pouring out toward Route 4. The old Prince George's County Courthouse, built in 1881. It was undergoing a $25 million renovation. It was scheduled to reopen early next year. Then this, this fire that all but destroyed this grand old building. And all I saw was the flames. I came down and I'm standing right here. We saw just the whole thing engulfed in flames. It was really sad when the Prince George's County Courthouse sign fell to the ground. No one was injured, but it took four alarms, 100 firefighters, and two and a half hours to bring this fire under control. You know, it's a real tragedy. It's a loss for Prince George's County. It's a loss for Upper Marble. I mean, this courthouse has been around for a long time. There's many people that have made their careers in there. Because of the construction project, there were no important records or artifacts stored in the old courthouse. But the loss here, the loss is significant. That's yeah, very tragic. I mean, it's a, you know, historic symbol for the county. Um, it's a beautiful courthouse building. Hopefully we'll be able to restore it. Uh, if not, though, it would be a very significant loss. Two minor injuries here today. The cause of the fire, it's still under investigation. Now back to you. It is sad to see. Like 911 in the way. Judges, prisoners, jurors, and hundreds of others were rushed out of the modern courthouse next door. When we walked to this side, all you saw were the flames just shooting out of the roof. It was just horrible. And then there were chunks coming out that were the size of softballs, baseballs that were just pouring off the roof. High winds and old timber fueled the flames quickly, hampering hundreds of firefighters struggling to control the blaze. Our initial in interior attacks uh, were, were, we had to withdraw because of structural collapses within the building. Fire investigators are questioning 55 construction workers they believe were in the courthouse when the fire erupted to see if there's a connection. That's something our fire investigators are looking into. It really is too early to, uh, to pinpoint a cause. Court workers were planning to move back into this old courthouse in January after a multi-million dollar renovation was complete. The state's attorney says a functioning courthouse has stood here since 1720. That's been the center of justice for the county for almost three centuries, so it's, it's a huge loss. Streets were closed and hundreds of court and county government workers sent home. Nearby businesses were hit hard. Can we just work harder, beat the streets harder, and pray to God? Two firefighters suffered minor injuries. We are told there were no historic documents destroyed in the fire. Renovations that were underway cost $25 million. County Executive Jack Johnson says the county will rebuild, and he estimates it will cost about $40 million. A bill he said... The courthouse has gone up in smoke. The 19th century building was undergoing a multi-million dollar renovation, but this morning, flames broke out on the roof, and they spread. More than 100 firefighters tried to keep the flames from reaching a modern adjacent facility. This happened on Main Street in Upper Marlboro. Dave Statter is there with more. Gordon, this is the 1881 portion of the courthouse under renovation since last year, and sources tell us that fire investigators are looking at the actions of the construction crew as they used a torch this morning on the plumbing. Among the plumbing that was being worked on, we are told recently, is the new state-of-the-art fire protection system, the sprinkler and the standpipe system that would be in place when this opened, this renovated portion opened in January to protect the building. Of course, now all that's standing here of this portion are the walls, and they're talking of rebuilding. The county seat is the hot seat today. 125 firefighters fought a blaze of historic proportion. That's about one firefighter for each year of this building's life. And the history goes back even further. A courthouse has sat on this spot since 1720. Heartbroken. I started out here. Circuit Court Judge Phil Nichols and many other Marlboro regulars watched with sadness as the flames traveled from one end of the roof to the other. But firefighters couldn't be so sentimental. When they got here, their initial focus had to be on what wasn't burning. The first effort was to protect the new, the, uh, new courthouse. The, uh, the uh, old courthouse building uh, was heavily involved upon the first unit's arrival. We had a uh, tremendous amount of fire this morning. In Chief Larry Sedgwick took over the county fire department courthouse. just two days ago, and, and already he is faced with one of the largest fire losses in county history. But the tactics worked, and it's likely the newer portion of the courthouse will be operational very soon. Confident we'll be able to get back into the new building and resume court operations by Friday. But tomorrow, this courthouse, 
the Upper Marlboro Courthouse will be closed. A lot of famous cases here. The trial of Arthur Bremer, accused of in the, and, and convicted in the assassination attempt on George Wallace in 1972. The trial of Terrence Johnson, convicted in the killings of two Prince George's County police officers. A lot of marriages here. A lot of people gone to jail from here. A lot of people coming today to pay their respects to this old the cancellation of all court proceedings today and tomorrow. Mary Alice Salinas is at the courthouse in Upper Marlboro now with more on this story. Mary Alice? Jim, luckily the fire did not destroy any court records. Those court records were moved from the old courthouse to the new courthouse a while back, but it did destroy much of a priceless landmark. The fire's toll on Prince George's County history is immeasurable. Still, some counted what the fire spared. Nobody got hurt. We didn't lose any records. If there's any upside, that would be it. You know, the downsides is 300 years of history just went up in flames. There have been several versions of the county's courthouse at this site since 1721. But even as the smoldering fire continued to consume the old building, county officials vowed to rebuild it. Courthouse is pretty much burned down, but there is uh, the structural integrity of the courthouse is in place. We understand that the walls and everything are so structurally sound. The county moved out of the old courthouse and into the new adjoining courthouse about two years ago, while a major renovation took place. Workers who watched the historic building destroyed today were scheduled to move back in January. It's a shame because it's an old building. That's the sad part, and they just renovated it. It's been there for a long time. It's just a shock to see it go up in flames. County officials say the Upper Marlboro Courthouse will remain closed tomorrow, so firefighters can make sure it's safe for workers to go back. Uh, the firefighters will be here all night um, um, enough, um, on this side as well as the other, um, continuing to fight the fire. This is a type of fire that continues to smother, and there will be smoke and other things that are moving um, possibly into the building, and so we are concerned about the safety of all of our citizens. We'll resume court proceedings uh, on Friday. This will be sort of like a disruption from uh, inclement weather, uh, severe inclement weather. So we should be able to get the court dockets and um, cases back moving quickly. Now there is a Hyattsville branch of this courthouse that will be open tomorrow. As far as the dollar amount in damage here, that still hasn't been tallied. It is expected to be in millions. Jim, back to you. Mary Alice Salinas, thank you. We're learning more tonight about the video and destroyed much of the historic building throughout the day. Maryland officials visited the site today, and that's where we find Darcy Spencer live on the scene with the latest today. Hi, Darcy. Hey there, Jim. Well, people here in Prince George's County are really still trying to come to terms with what happened yesterday. A treasure here in Prince George's County certainly was lost. Now, investigators remain on the scene here trying to figure out the cause of that blaze. Now, the governor and lieutenant governor came here today and they pledged their help and support in the rebuilding process. Maryland Governor Robert Ehrlich donned the Prince George's County firefighter's jacket and surveyed the damage from a fire that all but destroyed the old county courthouse Wednesday morning. He was hoisted above the debris in a basket attached to a crane. It's from this view, like from a helicopter, you can see the extent of the damage. The historic structure now stands in ruins. The cause of the fire still under investigation. Ehrlich offered the state support to Prince George's County and pledged to help rebuild. And he praises on the dozens of firefighters who knocked down the four alarm blaze. We got the best uh, career and uh, volunteer, by the way. Incredible Mike, Mike and I see that around the yeah. state. You know, our professionals are terrific. Our volunteers are an integral part of our comprehensive approach to fire prevention. And uh, they work together very well in this county and other counties in the state. Ehrlich was joined by Lieutenant Governor Michael Steele, a native to Prince George's. To watch this building burn yesterday was uh, heart sickening. And, uh, uh, you know, I think it's important for the county to know and the county executive, but more importantly, the people here kind of know that uh, we're going to work to help rebuild and as much as we can. The doors that once welcomed lawyers and judges are now boarded up. Shattered windows provide a view to the damage inside. $27 million in construction work gone. The cost of rebuilding this piece of history, at least $40 million. It's sad, real sad. You know, I just moved here uh, back in March and 
one of the attractions was the courthouse, uh, trying to open my business and whatnot. And now the scene that it's burned, it's really disheartening. Coming up at 6 o'clock tonight, I talked to a former fire chief here in Prince George's County who talks about the challenges of fighting fires in historic buildings. Now, I'm Darcy Spencer, Spring Life from Upper Marlboro. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Darcy. Massive fire that ripped through parts of the building. Today, investigators are busy trying to figure out what sparked those flames. News Channel 8's John Lyle has the latest. The historic courthouse is now just a brick shell. Makes you want to cry. Maureen Royal watched it burn. I love old buildings and old historic things. And to see something historic destroyed like that is sad. The courthouse was consumed in a four-alarm fire. It appears it started towards the right-hand side of the roof and then spread from there. But investigators now are trying to pinpoint the cause. They've all but ruled out arson, but are looking into the possibility that the fire was sparked by construction work. The old building was undergoing a $27 million renovation that was close to completion. Rebuilding it could cost much more, and Governor Bob Ehrlich today offered his help. Obviously, the state has a commitment uh, to this uh, courthouse, to this county. Ehrlich and Lieutenant Governor Michael Steele, a corporate attorney and Prince George's native, toured the site, getting a bird's eye view of the damage. I never uh, got to try a case here. I spent a lot of time in here uh, on other matters, but uh, to watch this building burn yesterday was uh, heart sickening. The courthouse is insured for almost a hundred million dollars, but like any policy, officials will have to look closely at the fine print to see exactly how much the insurance company will pay and if any taxpayer money will be needed to rebuild. In Upper Marlboro, John Lyle, News Channel 8. The men this was the scene yesterday morning as a huge fire damaged much of the historic building. The damage estimate, more than $20 million. Darcy Spencer is in Upper Marlboro with the latest on the investigation. Darcy? Doreen, investigators believe that they have answered a very critical question. That is, where did the fire start? They pinpointed it to a section of the roof, but they still haven't answered that question. How did it start? And they're working 24 hours a day to get it done. Prince George's County fire investigators survey what's left of the old Prince George's County courthouse. The century's old building was severely damaged in a fire Wednesday. In a basket attached to a crane, investigators hover over an area of the building that they believe the fire broke out. Well, that area was up on the rooftop of what would be the old courthouse, and they're focusing on that area. They're trying to examine it as best they can and see what clues that may yield in terms of what actually caused this fire. The building was near the end of a $27 million renovation. Officials say about 50 construction workers were in the building. A handful of them were in the immediate area of the fire. Investigators gathered different pieces of information, such as interviews from uh, contractors or from witnesses. Uh, they're going to look at the media uh, helicopter accounts, uh, which will help them determine the area of origin and, and the spread of the fire. Uh, they're going to put all that together and then come up with a theory uh, and, and a hopeful conclusion as to exactly what happened. Officials say there is also a secondary investigation taking place. It's to ensure the contractor was following proper procedures in preventing and suppressing fire during the project. Former Prince George's County Fire Chief Stephen Edwards says fighting fires engulfing historic buildings pose a unique challenge. That's because they were built when fire codes were not as stringent. That's why prevention is so important. That's why maintaining good construction practices, keeping the site clean of debris and, and combustible products is so important because once a fire starts in a building under construction of that size, with the amount of combustible products and wood and open voids and things of that nature, they're very difficult to stop once they're started. Officials estimate it would cost at least $40 million to rebuild the old courthouse. The county executive's office says there's plenty of insurance money to cover those damages. I'm Darcy Spencer reporting live from Upper Marlboro. Back to you, Doreen. Darcy, thank you. Jim? It's massive fire at the old Prince George's County Courthouse. They say temporary lighting in the attic sparked the flames. Today, the courthouse reopened. Megan McGrath has the story. For the first time in five days, people enter the Judicial Center in Upper Marlboro. The courthouse reopened this morning following a devastating fire in the original courthouse on Wednesday. 
Court officials are now playing catch-up, having lost three days worth of scheduled business. Considering that Friday is our busiest day, it's going to be, be quite severe. There were about 70 criminal cases on the docket for motions on Friday, not including pleas and sentencings and things like that. And of course, our family division runs a heavy docket every day. So all of these things must be rescheduled. The newer section of the courthouse did not burn in the fire, but the two structures are connected on two floors. Officials were worried about possible smoke damage and air quality issues, so the entire judicial center was closed for the duration of last week. Officials say tests show acceptable air quality levels, so the okay was given to reopen for business. Just smell a little charred in there, that was it. Smoky. Smells like an old fire. Just like it's been burning. Special fans have been brought in to get rid of the odor. The smell is the most noticeable in areas closest to where the two buildings connect. People do have different sensitivities and some of that's medically based. Um, and I think, you know, we're going to have to take that into account to some extent. But I think we're going to be able to move forward with uh, business just fine. Court officials are already rescheduling trials and hearings that were canceled. People who were affected will be notified of their new date through the mail. In Upper Marlboro, Megan McGrath, News 4. Damages.